Aries. This will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 5th through January the 6th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for January the 5th through January the 6th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for January the 5th through January the 6th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for January the 5th through January the 6th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. Yep. So, Aries, you have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication, but this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So listen, Aries, you can tell me that you guys had some immature, premature communication or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Aries. Clarify the page of swords for Aries. Clarify the page of swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Aries, someone very well may have commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, Aries, it could be some preliminary communication about commitment, yes. You can tell me that you guys had some type of immature, premature communication and your commitment is ending. You can tell me that you're, you went looking and you found something to cause this commitment to end. Are you looking on someone back home? Family? Spying on someone to see if they have a family? Are they in a commitment? Where do they live? Back home somewhere. Aries, you have the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy... I'm sorry, this is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. I'm, I'm just... I don't know why I'm just staring in, just zoning in on this card here. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. I don't, clarify the nine of cups for Aries. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Aries, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Maybe you're just indecisive. Or whether or not this is your wish. Or you can have this wish. Maybe you're looking in on someone that you want to have this wish with. Some type of commitment with. 
You don't see what you need to see. You don't hear what you need to hear. Or you're telling me that you already saw something and you're feeling like, you know what, I'm going to block them out. Could be overindulging, trying to numb out, get them off your mind. Or you're smug that you're just blocking them out because you found out something here. But I don't know. Aries, you have judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Aries, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Aries. Clarify judgment for Aries. Clarify judgment for Aries. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Aries. Clarify the lovers. For Aries, clarify the lovers. For Aries, it is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. <clears throat> Aries, you can tell me that you discovered that they had another other lover here. And so your judgment is to block them. Maybe you're just blocking, blocking after finding out something here. But it just seems like a good card, then a spying. A good card, then a, I don't know, I can't see. And then maybe a good card... Because this very well could be good. And then, I'm, I don't know, maybe blocking or stuck. So, Aries, listen. You can tell me that you have this strong magnetic pull with this person. And you're stuck on knowing whether or not you guys are going to have forgiveness and a second chance. Whether or not you need to forgive them or they're needing to forgive you. You could also find that you have this strong magnetic pull with this person. But I don't know if they have you on block. And it has you feeling some type of way. And this is maybe the reason why you're looking into something here. Aries, you have the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher. Someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy. Someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Aries, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the Four of Pentacles by Aries. Clarify the Four of Pentacles by Aries. Clarify the Four of Pentacles by Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Aries, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Now Aries, you can tell me that you're saving your money, okay? You want to be independently abundant. Aries, you can tell me that you're closed off to this person that you're in a commitment with and you're just wanting to be single. Or are you telling me that you're holding back from someone because you don't know if they're single? Aries, you have the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer will be rejected. 
So Aries, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that this is all work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Now, Aries, you can tell me that you're rejecting any offer for forgiveness and a second chance, and you guys have already established commitment to work things out because they had a third party, another other lover here. And your commitment could be ending. You could be closed off and wanting to become single. Aries, you can tell me that you're wanting to work things out with this person, but you have this fear that they won't accept your cup. You can even tell me that you're wanting to go into some type of an agreement or a contract, collaboration, maybe a, a marital contract with this person, but it seems to be some type of block communication or distance or someone being closed off here, and you have this fear it won't be accepted. Hmm. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aries. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, love, adore, admire, enchantment. Love, adore, adore, admire, enchantment. Love, adore, admire, enchantment. Okay. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? It says waves, emotions coming and going. Waves, emotions coming and going. I keep on falling in and out of love with you. And I don't know. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 5th through January the 6th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.